Greetings, gruesome. Greetings, scary. Welcome to Live in the Hearse. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been live in a hearse before. I've only been undead in a hearse before. <laughs> there you go. Well, they say it's fun to be in the back of the hearse, but any day above ground is a good day. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yes. Celebrate every day above ground. <laughs> That's right. So, I have a question for you. I want to know about your origin. How did this all start? Do you know that you wanted to be in a monster rock and roll band? From the moment I was born, little mommy and daddy monster said, you know, we just was handed a flying V as soon as I was put up together at the, up the table. So it was just part of the gruesome gear. So it was always meant to be. I was just gonna, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> it made life easy, yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna monster rock and roll for you. That's right. That's awesome. How about you, Scary? Well, being that my name is Scary, when I was born, I was so ugly. My mom screamed and went, oh, we're going to have to name her Scary. She's so scary. So immediately I went off to work um, in the graveyard and I grew up in that background of, you know, the spooky and the scary and the spooky and the scary. And, you know, it's just been my lifelong dream as well to be spookily involved. And I love singing spooky songs. So it all comes together beautifully. That's awesome. Any day with monsters, good day. Oh, yeah. Cool. So, you guys, what are some of your influences? Oh, the main one's got to be uh, Alice Cooper and Kiss. I mean, musically, of course, there's Frankenstein and Dracula and the Wolfman. But mostly it's um, Kiss, Alice Cooper, the good classics. I mean, we listen to everything from classical music to really terrible, just, you know, e EMD. So every now and then, if you had a clip, but it's mostly, it's just good old Alice Cooper and Kiss. I think it's kind of a mix between 50s and 70s. Like, in my head, a lot of the times I'm thinking of, you know, it's, it's Buddy Holly meets Alice Cooper or something like that. It's just, you know, it's just a good old danceable groove. And then we're singing about spooky stuff because it, it really is rock and roll. It's not just like somebody saying they rock and they come out and they rap, you know, just because they're having a good time. We're playing rock and roll, which is, rock and roll music, you know, rock and roll formats, rock and roll fun, get up, dance with somebody, have some good time. It's, it is a monster rock and roll party when we out, get out and play as we used to, and will again soon, I hope. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. I want to know a little bit about the, the record that you released during the pandemic. How did you guys do that? Well, we just, um, at the beginning of the thing, I mean, we were just ready to go. I mean, it was kind of the, uh, we had just finished playing the year before, which was pretty much a normal year. So it's a slower part where I start writing some stuff, sending out demos, and we were ready to go. I usually write a demo here, just do something quick and easy on GarageBand with a basic drum track. I play bass, you know, play all instruments, send it out to everybody, and they, you know, add their real parts to it. And uh, we found out that uh, Rabbit Russell, our bass player, was an excellent engineer. He was able to put it all together at his place and just engineered it, mixed it, mastered it, got it ready for everything. Nick doing what he does with his drums, being the living dead drummer and available for drumming with anybody who needs some stuff done, is um, makes just great tracks. I mean, he's got, he was able to mic up, you know, all of his drums, have great tracks to send down there. And with the technology, it's even easy for me to do it just from my computer. Everything is plugged in. So we did our tracks at home, did what we liked, sent everything to Russell, he put it together. And it just came out great. But of course, you know, we go to Aiden Casely for our artwork. This was the uh, fourth one? Yes. Fourth or fifth? Yeah, fourth one. Aiden. And um, yeah, he did a great job again with the cover, the back cover, the uh, CD thing, all the little promos for it, and, and the first video for the Coffee Creek single. He did a completely animated video in a stop motion, not stop motion, but a um, sketch animation style. It's, yeah, it moves, but it's not quite fully animated, but it looks really cool. It's nice black and white, so it fits with all the old, the Coffin Creek lyrics, which are about a lot of old horror movies and stuff. And of course, during the dance, the Coffin Creek. But um, again, just um, not waiting around, you know, not when life hands you lemons, you got to say no, bad life. I want a monster rock and roll. So you just, you know, you're stuck in your house with a guitar and a recording device better than what most bands in the 70s had. But so we just started recording. And um, like I said, we were really lucky that Russell was able to engineer it and mix it all for us because that just kept it in the family and um, kept it cheap. <laughs> kept it affordable on our DIY budget. Awesome. Very. <laughs> 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 but that's awesome.
awesome, you guys. I love it. I love the album. I've listened to it. Um, and I also wanted to know, how did you meet Aiden? He's quite a cool cat. How did you meet oh, him? He, he is cool, cool. Um, again, just a great day story, kind of a nice story. I like it. I mean, I just got up, I checked my message one day on email, uh, uh, Facebook it was, and um, there's a cartoon drawing of me and my guitar. And I'm just like, oh my God, and it looked great because Aiden is a great artist and he likes us. So he drew a great picture of me, just said he saw us, you know, want to support the band a little bit and just want to say hello. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm a cartoon character. I'm a cartoon character. Showed it to the rest of the band and they all wanted to be cartoon characters too. So he came out, saw a couple of shows, added everybody's personalities, you know, just the drawing. He didn't just go, okay, here's, you know, your character. He actually came out, met the band, saw everybody, you know, how they moved and grouped and did everything. And, started drawing it and he, he creates uh, the character for everybody. Well, he doesn't create the character, but he draws the character for everybody now. And it's just, um, it's fantastic. I mean, it's, we just, we have a go-to guy who does cool art. He can change his stuff up. He does, you know, great things for like the Tombstone video. He actually directed that one, but uh, just his artwork, he can draw things for us. You know, we just give him a style and say, make this one creepier, make this one funnier. He can do it, he gets it. I mean, he's just, um, he gets it. I mean, he's he's a monster rock and roller too. <laughs> Fantastic. We're gonna take a little break, and then I'm gonna ask, come back and ask you a few more questions. So stay cool. Thank you. Okay. And we're back. Okay. I have another. I have another question for you guys. Brian Rawls is a friend of mine, and I know he's a friend of yours. How did you, you meet mean, him? You mean Undying Brian? Yeah, Undying Brian. Undying Brian, okay, okay, yeah, okay, that, that's who you know, yeah. Oh yeah, no, Undying Brian is, another, again, another brother from another monster rock and roll mother. He just gets it, he's been with us pretty much, well, ever since we met, not since quite the beginning, but ever since he's known about us. Uh, we are again, in the good old days when we were at the club, the Bat Cave. We'd go out there, you know, just hang out, have some fun, meet new people. He came up with shoes similar to mine. I've got, you know, the big platform boots with the skeleton toes on them. He had some shoes with skeleton toes and just came up and said, hey man, let me get a picture. Got some pictures, started talking, and been a buddy ever since. I mean, it just just clicked from the, from the second he took that first picture. We started laughing and joking, having fun all night, hanging out at the club. He found out, you know, what we're doing in the band and everything else, heard some of the music, just, from then on in, let me know when your next show is. Next show, he pretty much became the official photographer of uh, the Rhythm Prophet. I mean, he's been at more shows and events probably than anyone. I mean, any other photographer, at least for sure. Maybe not all people, but he's up there at least in the top five. <laughs> he is, um, he's a fantastic That's awesome. person. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a neat, neat guy. He's a cool cat as well. Um, what is your next step here? What are you working on now? Right now, we're actually getting ready to do our third video from the four song uh, Coffin Creep EP, the one we recorded last year. Uh, this is going to be called Balladstein. It's the uh, heartbroken ballad of Frankenstein Monster when he gets rejected by the bride here. So it's um, pretty good. It's a good catchy tune, even if you're not heartbroken, but if you are, it's a good catchy tune to keep you going there. Uh, we're going, kind of mastering again. Aiden Caserly comes in here. He did a um, I had, had him do a nice little artwork for us of the bride, where they're all sitting around in the one scene where the, Frank's holding the bride's hand, the doctor's there. Um, Igor. Igor and... Um, Petraeus. Petraeus, that's Petraeus. it, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's there, you know, we're just kind of there. He drew us all in character, so we are going to do a, a video, probably our biggest video yet. Uh, Nick, uh, Nightmare Nick, is directing it. He actually went out, scouted locations. We're going to go to a location, a safe location, secret location. safe secret location. But um, we'll be shooting there. We'll be a uh, sort of a silent movie take on the Bride of Frankenstein. We want to, well, we don't want to tell too much, but we do want to tell you what we're doing here. We're probably doing a lot of videos coming up in the next year. We um, see how we can't get out to see you. We want you at least to see us. So the videos we're been doing, like we did the first animated one with Aiden. Then we did, Aiden directed our next one where Scary and I went out and did some stuff live. And everybody else did a few things. We did a, a, a live playing thing at a studio, got together and mixed that together. Now this one is just gonna be a complete storyline with just just the, the Bride of Frankenstein. And I've got the script and all, but I've got to give you the details. Nick's got it all worked out. 
but it's a fun little script. It's, you know, it covers the story, it covers the movie, and it all ties in nicely with a nice little heartbroken song. Heartbroken ballad for all you monsters who didn't quite get what you wanted for Valentine's Day. Oh, who didn't get what they wanted for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> we started oh, celebrating. Awesome. Why not? It's... <laughs> oh, I love all my frightful chocolates, the peanut butter screams, the um, uh, scare, scare caramels. <laughs> I definitely dig my baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been so awesome. Crazy. Do you have a Valentine's message for everybody? Just a quick um, Play our song, My Baby Digs Me. That's pretty yes, much it. That's awesome. I hope you're in love. I hope you're a monster in love with a monster loving you back. Check out the song. It's on YouTube for free. You can always go somewhere, give us money for it, but just listen to it on YouTube. My Baby Digs Me. If you got a little horror theme to your love theme, it ties right in there. There's a lot of monster stuff. It's a good backbeat. You just have a great time. My Baby Digs Me, all is good. Yes. That is fantastic. I can't wait to hear your new music. That's awesome. I have one more question. When all this Twilight Zone time is over, what are you guys really looking forward to? Playing live. live, playing live, rehearsing yes. and playing, playing live. live. <laughs> I miss rehearsing with the band. I mean, the band is we miss our band, the band. Is so good. We miss the band. We miss, we miss all of our so friends. Much. We miss seeing them. Even just you know how random friends are when you only see certain people with certain bands. It's just yeah. everything. We miss everything about it. But mostly, just playing live is just it's just killing me. I've never. It's February eighth last year was our last show at CIA, one of our f favorite places. Yep. Had a great time, but never imagined that it would be a ye over a year since we played again. And unfortunately, last year we only got to rehearse once. We thought we were going to do a Halloween show, so we got together to rehearse, but that got pulled to the last minute. So last year we had one show and maybe just you know a few rehearsals for that, and then one after that. So it's it's just been terrible. I mean, the CD kept us busy and doing stuff in the studio and contact. You know, we're doing everything we can, and we got a positive attitude. Everything's you know moving forward, keeping safe. Monster Rock and Roll Mojo's high. But it's nothing like playing live. We miss playing live so much. I'm even missing roadieing. That's <laughs> how bad it is. <laughs> I to have my stuff and go to the show. Yes. I want to hurt my back loading my amp in. Come on now. <laughs> it's just, I just yeah, want to play it. <laughs> no, I hear you. I miss a lot of things too. And I miss doing stuff with the Hertz Club. And I miss seeing you guys. I'm really thankful for all the stuff that you've helped us with, events and stuff. Oh, it's really yeah. fun. And I miss all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Brian sets up so many things around Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas, and we're always great, to, uh, happy to go out there and play those shows and help promote them and help Brian do all that he does for his charities and foundations and things where he makes dinners and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's we're great to be, you know, we love being a part of all that, and it's just, it's wonderful. Again, another benefit of just playing ghoul time monster rock and roll music, you're meeting other ghoul time people. You know, we're just, again, we're just out for fun. No one's out to hurt or slay or maim or anything. It's just, you know, dress up in black and have a ghoul time. Ask that guy or ghoul to dance to this song. Have more fun more often. That's what it's all about. That's awesome. Okay, I know you have a dog. I want to see your dog real quick. All right, I'm going to do a slow pan here Let's because see. you're seeing a very good girl right now. Okay, it's Sandy. This is Sandy. You may see her at Carrie's work sometime during the day. So let's see if I can find her here for you. Where is she? There she is. Yay. There's Sandy Grimm being a good, good girl. I just love girl. dogs. Oh, yes. Oh, you, well, we great. know you love all animals, but your dogs too. And we've seen, yeah. That's sweet little Sandy. She's oh. <laughs> yeah, a doll that she doesn't mind the lights or anything. You know, she's like totally immune to the lights. It's cool. It's very cool. Oh, she's a Grimm. She's a Grimm. <laughs> She's awesome. I, I love her. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, well, she, I yeah. really appreciate you taking out time to, you know, do this interview with me today and being on Live in the Hearse. And we hope to be able to do stuff with you guys sometime soon. Oh, too. oh yes. Too, yes. No, we, we're thrilled to be here with you. Glad you thought of us to do this event, uh, this show. And um, yeah, anything you've got going on live to keep the fun frightful, we'll be there to keep it frightfully fun with you. Thank you. <laughs> and I love you guys' attitude. Your attitude is always so upbeat. And when I interviewed Aiden, I was just like, he said the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, monster rock and roll. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Good stuff. Cool. We're ready to come back. When the world's open, we're ready to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Work 
working on new songs, oh, everything else, else, new videos. We we are not not doing nothing. We that's are keeping right. busy. Keep it going. Keep it monster rock and rolling. That's that's the way. To go. That's the way to do it. Well, I want to thank you so much, and I hope we get to do something live. <laughs> thank you. Um, do something live very soon. Yes. Yes. So take that's care, good. and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this dance?